Oh, thank you, thank you, Jaden. It's good to see some familiar faces, and it's always good to uh, meet new folks. So I appreciate you all and your time. Um, I know you guys have had an awesome conference so far. I think Hoi Kaik always does really high quality and awesome work, and so it's good to see the folks that have turned out. Um, yeah, so today we're just going to share a little bit about a project that we've been working on, geez, going on longer than two years, but it's been iterating and changing. This is our latest iteration, and we want to go live, and really it's in an effort to support families um, across the Pai Aina. Um, and really there's gonna be questions for you folks to help us answer. We are a month away from going live. And so you guys will add as much value to this, uh, you know, hopefully as, as we um, hope to inform you all. Um, I wanna do really quick, my name is Kanoa Inos. I am originally from Makaha on the west side of Oahu, live out in Honolulu side now, um, social worker, Worked with the Little County Trust for many years, um, and now I work as a part of an informal alliance of folks uh, that do consulting slash supporting smaller organizations. And one of my lead roles now is with the uh, Early Childhood Action Strategy, a uh, team to uh, safe and nurturing families, helping to support their efforts to reduce instances of in-home in, in family violence. And that's what um, the, the Aloha at Home really is about. It's our attempt at trying to understand a strategy a messaging strategy and information strategy on an activity strategy to help families who most need it. And we're listening as, as, we, as we go. Um, and I wanna introduce my, uh, my co-facilitators and friends. Um, I'll kick it over to Shelly and then Lisa. Aloha, I'm Shelly. Um, I see some familiar faces so and new faces, so welcome. Um, so I work with Kanoi with Aali Alliance and um, supporting this project. Um, yeah, so thanks for being here. And then Lisa, go ahead, Lisa. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa. Um, I work with Kanoi and Shelly. Um, I also work at Family Programs Hawaii and uh, I do the technology. Yeah. Thanks for coming. She does more than just the technology. None of us can do technology, but uh, Lisa provides that, but she also gives us really good mana'o as a mother, as a community member. And that's really what I think Aloha at Home is about. And so I'll share screen. Okay, cool. I think this is the one. Please be the one. Okay. So what is Aloha at Home? Um, it's really a messaging and information campaign. Uh, we, we And it's been in part co-designed by by community members, by families out in the community through various efforts. Um, and really its goal is to help in a sort of 50,000 foot sense uh, to help make the system healthier for our keiki by reducing um, instances of, of, of in-home family violence. Um, sorry, make it quick, there we go. Um, these are, uh, Summer can't be here today and Shelly um, in, in, insisted that, that she put that, that, she picked that picture. Oh, I'm part Hawaiian and part Harfoot. If anybody yeah. knows Lord of the Rings, I just wanted to share that today. <laughs> and, and couldn't get Lisa's picture, picture up in time, but I appreciate all my team, a, a, a lucky team of folks. Um, and so today's activity, just a little bit of background um, on, on what Aloha at Home is, where did it come from? Uh, where, is, where does it want to go? Uh, the key component of Aloha at Home in this phase is about serve and return. It's a back and forth, and we'll explain that team um, in between family members. It's, it's a way to engage with um, Kiki as well as partners. Um, and then we just want to hear from you folks. Um, so any questions before we start? Anything folks want to get off their chest? Anyone not all? always offer that up to the room. Maybe, Kanoi, do you want to just put in the chat where people are coming from, whether organization or- Oh yeah, um, that'd be helpful. There you um, go, island, your moku, whatever. Just kind of to get a feel of who's in the room. Um, yeah, that'd and be part, awesome. part of that's we may have some, some jokes, some lame jokes today, so just go with us. Lame. Anyway, yeah, so it'd be awesome Fun. if you guys could name um, where you call home, your moku or your aupua, um, and an organization will, will be helpful for us. A key component of this, to this work, it isn't team to an early childhood action strategy existing, um, you know, alone in a silo. It's about the a key component of this work is the partnerships and the relationships with other on the ground providers, community entities that are doing the work already. And we say that all the time, that is already folks doing the work. And what we wanna do is be, is add value to that, whether it be through providing tools, uh, insights into you know new methods, 
or connecting folks, yeah? And so Aloha at Home really started a few years back um, and uh, it came out a, of a study done, uh, commissioned by the Early Childhood Action Strategy, which is a collection, um, in essence, uh, a uh, collective impact effort uh, through, through um, that, that convenes folks from different facets of, of, of within the child serving uh, ecosystem. So we folks, the Department of Health, the Lula County Trust has always been, uh, DHS has always come to, to, to sit down, sending representatives to talk about how do we make the community healthier um, in this area. And so uh, a few years back before my time, they brought in an organization called the Frameworks Institute to do a uh, talk story with community. Um, and it was what they did and went and talked, went around and talked with various communities about what would help, what would help to reduce instances of in-home family violence, what would make for um, uh, safer and more nurturing home environments. And one of the things they came up with is that from feedback from community across the islands was that there should be a messaging campaign. In essence, that's what they said, something that shares um, uh, healthy practices that are easy for families to adopt or to uh, recognize that they are doing already too. Um, and that one of those strategies was the serve and return, which I'll go into more. Um, but really that was the study. And so it became, it, 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 it fell on um, early childhood action strategy and team two to figure out, well, what should that message look like? Um, and serve and return is, comes out of the Center on Developing Child for, for Harvard, um, out of Harvard University. And really it's just a practice and we'll, we'll share a little bit more in depth about it. But what became the task of our team is, well, how do we, as anything that at least Ali Alliance does, um, my team of folks is how do we make it resonate and relevant to our local communities? Um, I think a really important piece um, was how do we how do we integrate components of aloha, components of that serve and return, and then larger that larger protective factors that I think a lot of us are familiar with. And that's not easy, right? If it was easy, it, it, it would have been done. Like I said from day one, and you know, as we begin to sort of iterate this process, was that it cannot come across as a messaging campaign to help Keiki within our most underserved community starting there, uh, cannot come across as like, hey, you know, brown people stop hitting your kids because it comes across really condescending. And, you know, as a kid coming from Wainai who struggled in GED and anytime I was lectured to about a better way to be, subconsciously, my ears just turned off. <clears throat> like, you're not going to stop. Like, I I'm not going to listen, right? And I'm, and I'm not saying that that's um, every person, what we wanted to do is how do you create for those guys? And then that will scale up nicely. And so we wanted what concepts are, are, are easy um, that, that the folks inherently live already. And so, so the, the concept of aloha came as like, well, how do we promote aloha within the home? Or how do we have folks recognize what that, what that looks like? Um, a little bit of backstory before that, it was a messaging campaign. It was called Nurture Daily. And we had the same sort of back and forth serve and return. But in listening to families, Shelly and I ha had a chance to go and meet with various families from various programs um, and to create some toolkits. And a lot of them really liked, well, how do we make it sound more like us and look more like us? And thus the, the Aloha at Home um, uh, message. And so, yeah, trying to integrate the concept of Aloha, server in return coming out of Harvard, right? Which we know because it's, it's just good human practice, right? Um, and then the protective factors. How do you integrate those in a comprehensive way? Um, I can say it's not easy and we haven't figured it all out, right? And so that's why conversations like these and the next few years are gonna be really important as to what we do and how we listen as much as we serve and as much as we put out, how much are we actually listening um, to, to what the community is telling us? And we can track that through the website, through social media, uh, how much traffic, what had hits. And you know, a big shout out to Hoi Kaika folks. We actually beta tested some of this a uh, few months ago with them. And we had some really good, we learned really good feedback. Okay. And so what is Aloha in the concept of, of, of Aloha at home? I want to give Shelly really quickly. Do you have any manao before we roll? Cool. All right. So for me, Aloha, what I had to look back to is some of I my undergrad is in Hawaiian studies. I was raised in a cultural household, whether I, you know, appreciated that as a young man or not. Um, I was raised around the concept of, of aloha and 
Um, a name that always popped up was Anthony Pilahi Paki. And, you know, I think wrote into statute, I believe in the 1970s was her, well, I believe was called in the Aloha poem. So how do you break down Aloha? And we always say Aloha at home is rooted in kupuna wisdom or, or ike kupuna. And the concepts that we follow for this messaging campaign as far as Aloha is the, the concept of the A-L-O-H-A, right? The, the akahai, so it's kindness expressed with tenderness. And this is, again, you think in the context of, of a home environment, um, is that always trying to lead with kindness in, in situations. And for me as a you know, part-time single father of two, none of this is you know, extremely easy. Right, but how do we how do we anchor ourselves? How does a message and campaign anchor ourselves in values as opposed to anchoring ourselves in philosophies or tools? And so, you know, having that um, lo looking at at akahai as like how do we always lead with kindness? Um, lokahi, the value of of harmony in, in, in the home. So if that's a value and it's front of mind, then we're always striving towards right. Olu Olu being agreeable, being pleasant, ha ha ha, which is I think a really huge one for all families, all of us who are parents slash caretakers. How do we have the humility to learn, right? How do we be open? I think as Auntie Pilahi said, to be open, be open, like open enough to learn, to even be critical of ourselves, right? And then ahu nui, which is patience and that sort of perseverance. If not today, maybe tomorrow, um, especially with Kiki, how important that is. And so Aloha at Home will start, our messaging will start around this. Before we get into what is serving return, before we get into the protective factors, which can be abstract, what we want to do is anchor families in that you as a parent caretaker, you as a spouse or a partner, um, there, there is a concept of Aloha that we believe most folks who live here can understand and it resonates with. Um, here's, here's it fleshed out a little bit more and here's something for you to ponder uh, around it, yeah? Um, and so I'll kick it over to Shelly because Shelly, what we've been doing yeah. is gathering manao from folks. And so this is going to be our initial sort of talk story. Uh, but any questions so far? Any questions so far on what we've covered? And you can feel free to put it in the chat. And, you yeah. know, I think we're, we're, many of us are familiar living in Hawaii with Aloha. And some of you have probably also heard the values we talked about. And so, um, we wanted to also ground it in things that people are somewhat familiar with. Um, but I think what's hard is how do you live it? I was in the other, um, uh, what do you call it, the workshop? And we talked about, uh, you know, these Hawaiian values and yes, they're so my kai, you know, I believe in them, but in the day-to-day, -day, how do we show up for our families and practice these Aloha values? Um, you know, just thinking of your own life, you know, like just being um, working hard, stressed out, sometimes work, and then coming home with your kids, and then they're fighting, you know, and then now you got to like be the parent and like, I got to cook dinner, homework, you know, all that good stuff, but then still have quality time. And so, you know, in the day to day realities of our families, you know, how, how do we show aloha at home with our own families first, you know, whoever that is in your family? Um, and then thinking about how do we support the families that we work with to show aloha. So I just wanted to kind of throw that question out. Um, so if you want to type in the chat, you know, how do you practice that or show aloha at home with your own family? What are the things that you do that like, oh, this works really well, you know, for, for our ohana? Um, yeah, so if you want to just throw it out, um, whatever answer you got, and then maybe we can take a few um, live ones if you want to share it live. We've got some aloha kekahi kekahi, just loving, compassion. So this is a good one, um, being technology free. We talked about like putting away the, the iPhone and then just spending some quality time together, <laughs> like so hard to do nowadays, unfortunately. Dinners together, um, planting, communicating, how's your day, chores, being positive, hugs, um, being present. Um, singing together. So these are all wonderful ideas. Yeah, um, I cooking. thank you. These are all wonderful. I, when I think about this as Pule. Like, I think of the, the technology free on how hard that is to do now. Like, 
because we're going to say we're going to practice Aloha at home, right? And I'm going to take away my kids' technology. You ever take away your kids' technology, you watch how much Aloha they're going to show you. You know what I mean? And so that is the, then becomes the perfect time for like Ahonui, right? Because it's going to be new to them sometimes, right? Like, like we're doing what? I'm like cruising too. You know what I mean? Like it isn't always, it isn't, it doesn't always come across as like, oh man, I want to do that for right? these practices, right? We build these practices. And I, I think the most intriguing part about helping to lead this project when I first talked about it, when it was first being talked about, I was like, I'm, I'm the worst, right? Like I'm a, I'm a systems guy. I try to think about inequity. I try to think about, I, I try to think, you know, uh, you know, systems that don't work for the people that, 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 that needed the most. And so maybe that was the challenge that I put myself to. Well, how much do I really understand my kids and their needs? You know, I was raised in a household of like, we need to heal communities. Your problem can wait. You know, you, my child, or and these are the kind of households I was around my entire life. And then I began to, as I got older, understand the collateral damage with some of that. And so you could think about it as families going, I work four jobs. The, the iPad is, or my phone, or my child's phone is an integral part to the health and safety of my child because they stay out of my hair, right? And that's the reality. I think that's the big part about like, when we think about, you know, how do we, how, you know, what's a messaging campaign get, that can, uh, you know, help families that are suffering from, from violence. If you think about one of the, 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 the sort of key factors in violence is, is like lack of support, stress, high stress. Well, what causes that? Right, maybe one of the hardest places to live. I would argue be one of the hardest places to afford in the entire nation, let alone the entire world. And then we go like, "Hey, be nicer to your kids. You know, be this and that." Right? If 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 you live in a system that you feel oftentimes doesn't respect you, you know, things trickle down in a, in, a, in a certain direction, right? And so then, if we're if if we understand that, and then we go to families like, "Hey." Ignore the realities around you and how, how, how hard it is to survive, but give more to your children. You know, um, to me is sometimes can be an unfair ask, right? So Aloha at Home in this messaging campaign acknowledges that. Acknowledges on our website, the first thing we say is that it's very hard to be a parent in the state of Hawaii right now. So how do we give you tangible tools or mindsets in a way that you can slowly learn and that accepts you where you are um, that can be beneficial. And then how do we, as an effort and an initiative, listen to what's working and not so work, and, and, and is not working. So, sorry, there's a little bit of a tangent, but it was, it was hopefully- I just wanted fun. to um, point out, um, Jackie shared that um, they did the Aloha at, Cha Aloha at Home Challenge. And she said her kids love their phones. So they, she got on their level and started doing TikToks with them, you know, and they saw her in a different light. And so I thought, what a, what a cool way yeah. to flip technology, you know, and use it for, for good with your ohana and do something fun. So I, I just love that idea that anything can be uh, used to, you know, spend that time with your with your keiki, however way you do. Um, so thank you for that suggestion. Yeah, great. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Um, and yeah, and, and I appreciate it really is going to be the little things on, on, on how we help our families. It isn't going to be these grand grand efforts that, that, that families have the time, right? It's gonna be the small things that matter. Um, okay, anything else, Shelly? Great, great one. Oh, if you don't mind, we don't attach names to any of this, just FYI, but we'll pull back some, we'll, we pull out the feedback and then we try to add it to um, what we wanna do and I'll talk about what, what that will be, yeah? Okay, so that's, that's our challenge that was first is to anchor families in, in the concept of Aloha, specifically Antipilahi, keys um, and then we begin to what we want to do is have them be aware eventually of the protective factors now this doesn't all happen in week one right so this is going to be hypothetically not hypothetically theoretically it'll theme out like what, what we'll have is like these initial sort of aloha and then we'll talk a little bit about server and return and protective factors but we don't lead with this stuff in our in in, in our messaging campaign um, and hopefully we, we will be going for about a, a, an initial first year and those messages will, 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 will scale and develop and evolve as we go. And what we wanna reach is, is um, having families be more familiar with the concept of protective factors. And I think most of you in this room will understand it about, about parental resilience, the intricacies of parental resilience. What does it mean? Social support, what does healthy social support mean, right? Um, uh, understanding childhood, you know, the, the, the developing child, right? Like, 
we don't expect folks that that aren't in the field to easily grasp that so how do we slow slowly integrate the, these messaging so that it's um engaging enough for folks to stay tuned concrete support um and the social emotional growing the social emotional competence of of young children and, and of young people so this is where we want to get to after we anchor them in the concept of aloha um or remind them or, or, or bring out those, those, those parts of them. Um, then we begin to talk about things like protective factors, yeah? And then really the first year's tools and just a little bit of background, there's going to be, as frameworks wrote it out for this can message. I, can, I just, can I just pause real quick? So sure. I just wanted to share the, the connection between the protective factors and the Aloha values. So um, yes, yes. we just wanted to make sure that, um, yes, these aloha values are, are what I would call universal. So yes, they're they're grounded in olalo Hawaii, but really they're, they're uh, values that many cultures um, practice or value themselves. So we wanted to highlight those, but also embed them. And in, in these values, you, you already have these protective factors, you know, um, when you, when you practice these things and you're doing a lot of these protective factors already. And I think that's what a lot of this conference is saying too, right? Um, just by practicing these values, you can already start protecting, your, adding these protective factors. You know, you don't have to like check off, okay, I did parent resilience, you know, check, you know, or whatever it is, but in these practices, you know, you're already um, strengthening the family and the children. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of bridge a little bit. Sure. Go ahead. No, thank you. Thank you for that reminder, Shelly. I think it is really important to understand the protective factors aren't, um, yes, I think by design, they may come from a Western mindset, but really what they're talking about is like, do you know, you know, do you have enough healthy support? So are people listening? Are you all on your own as a parent or, or, or caretaker? If so, we need to start developing uh, healthier networks for you. Uh, do you have enough to buy food, shelter, pay the water bill if not let's let's try to find ways to do that right so these are universal concepts i think that that are easily adaptable to some of the aloha concepts and we spent comprehensive time i mean we, we've tried to do a comprehensive sort of like integrating each so on our back of house um sort of what we've done is take each of the aloha values and try to put them under each of those protective factors and we can share those out eventually at another time but that's, that was a lot of the work in, in the beginning. Where does um, lokahi or, or harmony live in the protective factors? And what we tried to do is we, we uh, have conversations and we think we have a best as right now. And then we introduce, um, just so you know that, that the frameworks, there is a five-year plan for the frameworks messaging and it starts with server in return. And server in return, you'll learn a little bit about that. And that's just a really, interaction micro interaction between parent and child parent um and, and parent parent to parent or caretaker to caretaker right or or just anybody within the household so it's a best it's a it's a you know evidence based a uh, practice that has you know outsized impact uh but the next theme that, that we move on to is like what happened when that's not there right so so this theme it doesn't begin and end with something like server and return starts there and it ends up at like what are the social conditions that that cause violence what are the more um, community issues? And so that's why the Frameworks Institute messaging campaign is so valuable, is it gives us a sort of timeline about growing into getting to more maybe um, 50,000 foot view, um, uh, uh, understanding of why and where violence comes from, as well as starting with how do we do these little things to begin to sort of um, push back. And so, so here's here's a little video on server in return um, that we found will be valuable. It'll be on our website and it'll be one of the ways for families to learn. And I'll just play it right now. Children's brains are built from their earliest months, back and forth interactions with parents, caregivers, and other important people in their lives, help them learn and grow. When a child talks or gurgles to an adult, it's like they're serving in a game of tennis. When that adult talks or gurgles in response, they're returning that serve. <laughs> By watching closely, we can pick up on what and when a child serves and make a rally of these interactions. And this repetition back and forth actively builds a child's brain. Because every time a child uses their social, emotional and language skills, they activate and strengthen parts of the brain that underlie these skills. These form a sturdy foundation for future learning and growth. 
and healthy relationships with others. Healthy development depends on the relationship a child has with important people in their life. These and other trusting relationships are essential for a child to feel safe and begin to manage and regulate their emotions. Serve and return interactions also help build other key skills like turn taking, associating words and objects and sharing attention. These skills build from the age of zero to five, lay the foundations resolving conflict and being motivated to learn. Serve and return is an active process. It's not the same thing as giving a child a book or letting them watch a TV show or play a mobile game on their own. Both caregivers and children must take part in this. Caregivers should pay attention to the children's cues like pointing, looking and making noises and actively respond to these cues. Returning a serve with responsive words or gestures is positive feedback that means a child is more likely to reach out and serve to us again. And this builds an even stronger foundation over time. Serve and return interaction throughout a child's early years help build the foundation every child needs to thrive. Children's brains are built. Children's brains are built. There we go. Sorry about that. Camera back on. Sorry, my internet's a little unstable. So, so you could see how that can create a little bit, like the argument that it makes, right? Like spending a little bit of time. For me, I, I think the important piece is how it builds, builds the brain of a child, right? Those that that will serve them for the rest of their life, right? How key those moments are, and I, I you know, and I would argue all the way up to adulthood to have those kind of healthy interactions back and forth. And so we see serve and return as a way to action um, through easy steps, the concept of a law, right? That back and forth, that acknowledging you, right? We, I saw someone talking about, um, it's someone in the chat put, um, how do you serve, how do you put aloha at home? They put empathy, I agree, right? Um, aloha kikai kikai, the back and forth, right? I, I acknowledge you having worth, you acknowledge me having worth, right? That concept of aloha. Well, how do you action that? For me, it's paying attention, listening. I know for me, when I first started learning this concept, uh, you know, of course I practice all because I get one kid that is like, yes, dad, whatever. The other one is like, just finds every single button, has the master code on what to push, right? But I find that when I take away, so this is these little anecdotal things that I'll pick up along the way. Or right? move his iPad, whatever, spend 15 minutes, markedly different when it comes to like bedtime, just, just the behaviors. So I became a believer in some of these practices, yeah? And so what we will do is then share some of this with the families and I'll share how we'll get that out. But um, these, these key concepts, they have it as five here. We, we, we have it, the, the five steps to serve and return. Here we have it listed out as like six, but it's like noticing noticing a serve. The child asks you a question or a child playing with something is, is noticing that, right? Acknowledging what you notice, encouraging as they do, waiting your turn after you, after you encourage for a, a serve, a return back or a serve back, yeah? Um, continuously going back and forth, right? For, you know, we, we've talked about it as like, try it out for 10 minutes, try it out for 10 minutes a day. I used to do it when I drive, when I take my kids to school, like really actively listening, right? And acknowledging when the task is done. And so there's, there's uh, some pretty clear steps that, that Harvard produces, which we will then, um, put into more local language, more culturally resonant, resonant form, and then share out with families. And so that's serve and return. And I, and then what we then want to do is after we mix those two, is um, beginning to like to go. Well, what does it look like? What does it look? What does that look like for our families here that we want to serve? And so I'll kick it over to Shelley because we've been asking this question as we go out to everyone that we work with. So again, I think these are things, you know, we're, we're familiar with, but again, in the practice, right? It's so um, hard to remember. So I think those little things, like Kanoi said that, like whatever, 20 minutes in the car, coming home, you know, whatever it is that you do um, to practice this serve and return um, with your own family. And then think about the families that you work with. What are those ways that you encourage them to have that? Um, Pilina, right, where they're really working together or listening and 
um, enjoying each other's company. Um, so just put in the chat um, anything you feel like you you do yourself or you see in the families or you try to help the families do. Um, just go for it and I'll share mine. So uh, my son loves video games like he just loves video games and I'm not so fond of them. So we started doing uh, board games, you know, old school. So we picked up a bunch of like Monopoly Junior. I, I think we just did a, a recent one race across the US or something like that, you know, card games like that. Um, and we just try to spend like once a week, just me and him um, playing some kind of like board game. Um, and he loves it. Like he really, really just loves that time. And then we just like talk and laugh. So, you know, things like that. And it's not even that long. I think it's like 10 minutes um, that we play. So unless you're playing Monopoly, Monopoly can take a long time, but yeah, <laughs> things like that. Anybody else have um, ideas, suggestions of how you, serve in return yeah go ahead and pop them in chat or you can chime in like one i tell is like when i asked my my kiki about the show they're watching and they'd watch this show for years without me ever paying attention and i say oh who's that character and then they're like what like what are you doing here <laughs> you know what i mean like i was like what are you what like i was like who's that character oh that's so and so is that the same as you know pinkie pie no that's that's shutterfly and i was like oh Oh, well, well, you know, and I, I remember later, like, just like watching it phase out of me, like, you can never ask me about my show ever. You know what I mean? And I was like, whoa, is that like, sir? Is that what they was talking about? Because then later, every new episode, I, I, I now get a recap. You know what I mean? So guess what Pinkie Pie did today? And I was like, oh, cool. You know, but, but these are these things that I had never worked. I wasn't aware. And so a part of me goes like, I wonder how much of us are really aware of those things. Um, so I, I want to give others a chance. And Shelly, we can go to the chat. Yeah, people have awesome ideas, right? Like singing, um, watching YouTube together, drawing, you know, so there's so many good things um, that you guys already do. And I, I want to pose this question to how do you encourage this kind of serve and return with the families you work with? You know, some families just a little bit struggling right now for whatever reason. Um, and so how, how do you encourage the families to do this kind of serve and return with their own KP? I love that. Someone put asking my child how their day was, the, the favorite part of your day. I realized that like that's the trick. It isn't like, how was your day? Inevitably, we can all say it together. They're going to say, good, right? What was your favorite part? And then what you, I, I love that. Really good, Manal. Great. I like this. One thing you wish could have gone differently in the day, you know, kind of a little bit mm -hmm. reflection. I like that. I have yeah, Manal. Oh, sorry. Yes, oh, please. Go, please. Please. Oh, yeah, can I? Um, yeah. Our, our, Kiki, our Kiki, we do I spy with my little eye. <laughs> so <laughs> we're like in the car and I'm and they're like trying to be on the iPad and I'm like, okay, okay. I spy with my little eye something green and they're like, is it the grass? And I'm like, not the grass. <laughs> that's green, but that's not what I was thinking of. Yeah, but yeah. previously, they, they don't really talk to each other about, uh, about any. They don't talk. They're only on the things, yeah. you know, on their on their devices. So that's one thing um, no. to implement. Yeah, Mahalo. Mahalo, sis. Thank you. That was a great one. Yeah, I get uh, 20 questions. We used to play 20 questions when I was a little boy because we grew up in Macau, so everything was 50 minutes away, right? So my mom would play 20 questions. And and so I started playing with my kid. I get, no, I get one kid to cheat. Like, I'm pretty sure he changed in his answer. I was like, bro, you just said doesn't live in the sea. And all of a sudden, it's on fish. Kind of fishy, but still, yeah, that's it. Then I'm like, come on, no, 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 that's not the point. It's the process. <laughs> but, but I was like, man, it's gonna cheat though. No. But, but I, 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 I think that's what it is, right? These little things, and for me, it's noticing, noticing like their behavior, or and I wouldn't even argue it's behavior, just how much more well I always say they look after that, right? They, they're less grouchy. They let something spill. They're not screaming. And I was like, oh, it's a thing. For me, this whole process is going realizing that something. It's a thing. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not, when you think about um, aloha as kupuna wisdom and child rearing, all the evidence and all the stuff that we know is a lot of kiki were, were, were raised by kupuna. And kupuna had the luxury of the not, they didn't have, they didn't have, you know, other distractions. Distractions were interactions, were learning. And then we all of a sudden usher, and this is, you know, common across the entire human species. And all of a sudden we ushered ourselves really quickly 
into a space where there was less interaction that was within the family. So it's no surprise at times some of us forgot healthier ways to do it. And so this is just anchoring in those healthier ways or um, way to view it. Yeah. Great. Sorry. Great one. Sorry. Yes. I, I love these ideas. I wanted to share too in the other, one of the other sessions, we talked about paying attention. So do we pay attention to our keiki? You know, like, just like we pay attention to other things. Do we sit down and like, do you know your keiki's best friend or their favorite lunch? Mm. You know, whatever, you know, because I think we, we always think like, okay, we're going to do this thing that I think we should do. Like, I want to go, you know, go plant something, you know, and they're like, oh, I don't want to do it. So I'm just wondering sometimes to do we pay attention to what they want to do or what they enjoy yeah. and do that, you know, because sometimes it ain't going to be what we want to do, right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I, I love this thing too, that sometimes when you have a teenager, you can be serving all day long and they are not returning nothing to you. They're like on their phone with their friends, whatever. So how do you engage with the teenager? I think it's a little bit easier when they're, you know, like little babies, right? They got no choice but to be with you in a sense. But um, so those with teenagers, what are your um, examples of how you get that serve and return with them? Yeah, a little bit more tricky. Grabbing ice cream. Man after my oh, own food, heart. food. I like it. Yeah, you can never say no to some ice cream. Thanks, Marty. Yeah, teenagers are hard. I will say that. <laughs> you can try real hard and they still give you one one word answers. Shopping. Should write a book, Marty. It's a great example. I wouldn't even know. Ah, uh, get there. Ah, uh, yeah. Feed them. Yeah, food always, always is a good one. Great. That's a good one. Yeah. So just think about those things. Um, and again, like, how do we encourage that in the families that we work? With? Oh, give rides to their friends. Yep. A little bit sneaky too, because then now you know, now you know where they're at and who their friends are. I like it. Yeah. Feed their friends too, right? Nice sharing stories just talking talking with them i find too they like to know your your past you know like when you grew up like like oh you had like a childhood like what you know so they, they like those kinds of stories too okay cooking library yeah all good good manao mahalo beach yep getting outside so maybe a few more if anybody wants to share out loud you're welcome to He's a great one now. I love it. Marty coming in with all the good ones too. Fishing. <laughs> yeah. Dad jokes. No, they don't like dad jokes. Culture. Yep. Mm -hmm. Co-learning. We found like, this is interesting. Some of the work we've been doing, we did during the pandemic, um, my team and I, and we, we, we found that how valuable some of those, um, there was cultural stuff being offered online and, it wasn't even the concept wasn't even about bond. I mean, the, the meeting wasn't even about bonding with, with Keiki, but like what some of the parents revealed that it was, they felt valuable during the pandemic was co-learning with their kids. And I was like, really? I was like, and then, you know, like because the access, right? And that the kids saw them learning, then picked up value of learning. And I so there's always these silver linings. And so now I'm becoming more and more a, a true believer in that kids enjoy being around us, even if they don't say it. <laughs> Great Mana'o gang. Great Mana'o. Mahalo. Last one. Kule. Mahalo for sharing um, some um, riddles. Hawaiian riddles. I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, yeah. Riddles. So get that link, people. That's really That's what we do. Cool. My Ohana with our with our teenage uh, Ohana Keiki. Oh, we do that. these nane. It's super cool and fun because then we learn. I put the link in the chat to the, oh, to the website. Check, that that yeah, is, check it out, Kako. That is awesome. Well, such Perfect. great stuff. You know, I always I always think it's cheating when, when I get to go and, and to do these sort of presentations because we learn so much from from everyone in the room. And what I what I promise to you is try to get this out and share this out to the larger community. And so all my aloha for you for that. And so how are we going to do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, so I'm going to kick it over to Lisa, who is our um, our our tech guru, as she says it, but really is is a, a, a mother who brings a lot of her aloha and time that she spends with her Kiki to this work. And so she's gonna share a little bit about our website. Lisa, should I stop sharing?
Uh, sure, I'll share. Yeah. Okay, give me a second. Here we go. All right. So this is the website, uh, alohaathome.org. And um, you can see a, a beautiful family here. You probably know that guy. Um, and we try to, um, this is just the home page, I feel like. And we have the numbers here at the bottom, um, numbers that uh, families may be interested in you know, getting help. And up here, we try to funnel all of our um, users to the activities. These are Aloha at Home activities. Yeah, we, we had free models um, just, and it wasn't because of their looks, it was just because they were free. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then under activities, we have here the uh, serve and return. And this is the video that we watched earlier. And so you can come back to this at some point if you want to look at that. And then just five easy steps for serve and return, just explaining it a little more. And then these are Aloha activities for adults. So each of these activities here, let's see, let's click on this, this one. This is an adult activity, so a caregiver activity, parents, resource caregivers. Um, and it does have a suggested time, uh, what you need, and you can download um, a copy of this as a PDF so you can use it with your clients or um, share it, email it, whatever. And it kind of says all the same things here, just short little instructions on what to do. And then a suggestion for more activities down below. And there was a big emphasis for us on this website. Um, and uh, my Aloha team, the team two members that some of you are in the room, the folks I can see like Kathy Sorensen and, and, and Marty is making sure this website, so the homepage is really easy to navigate. Um, some of the feedback that we heard from families when we initially started this, it was like, you know, what do you not want to see? You know, they don't give me like an encyclopedia. Give me something I can click, click. And you got X amount of time to keep me engaged. And so if you realize the homepage is like three buttons, that's it. You want to want to list this or this. And the same thing here. And Lisa has been really, really integral in helping us to make it like the, what was it? User interface is um, easily, easily navigatable. Go ahead. Sorry, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. No, it's good. Um, and you can see here, um, here's an activity that you do with your Kiki. And um, you notice there's more parents, act parent, parent activities right now. We're working on adding more um, family activities together. And you know, part of the reason I think that there's more uh, parent activities at, at the time when we were doing it was just, uh, you know, we asked our, our ECAS team too for um, their feedback. And you know, a lot of it was the parental resilience stuff. So that um, you have here uh, your Aloha values, you'll have your protective factor values here, and then just some quick information here. And this is for every, um, every activity, yeah? So, so these are just the activities you can do. Um, and then there's also articles, lots and lots of articles for families. And these all talk about the different protective factors. So like, for example, this one, this is a concrete support. Oh, sorry. Maybe not that one. <laughs> Anyhow, lots of articles here um, to view. Yeah, and we don't lead with with, with, with a ton of the articles, but yes, these are some for providers and families. Go ahead, Lee, sorry. Yes, and you know, we are leading with the activities. I think that's the most important piece. And then here we talk about Aloha values. that it's rooted in anti Kalahi Paki and values of Aloha. And then we also have here the protective factors for each of the values. And how they live together, yeah? Yes. As we see it, where we sit today. Yes. Okay, so those are all those. Um, yeah, and then we do talk about pr protective factors as well.
extra. And so we will post this in, um, we'll, we'll, we'll put the link in and you can find us, what is it? Just aloeatom.org. Um, uh, yeah, and so Lise, if we, I, I, I didn't realize like 15 minutes, but I wanna share real quick, um, Lisa's gonna talk a little bit about what are some of our next steps are. Um, so what our next steps are um, is we are not fully live with the website, mostly live, but we're looking at later this month, sorry, uh, in October, we wanna go live. Uh, and what, what that will do is we'll also coincide with a social media campaign. And so I'll share screen real quick. And is that mine? Yes. Cool. Um, what we want to do is that we right now we primarily are doing some stuff on Oahu with with some service providers. The whole point is to go statewide. However, the social media and the website are, are for everyone, and we're taking Manao from everyone because the idea is Pai Ainawai, right? Um, and so along with the website, what we're going to be launching in later October is we're gonna be doing weekly um, uh, social media posts with some of this material that's on the website, some that, that, that we talked about. Um, and I'll let Lisa talk a little bit about that. Okay, so we have a, a century challenge. We'd like to ask all of you for help. Um, we originally uh, joined Poi Kaika and we did the Ohana Talk mm -hmm. Story Aloha at Home Challenge with them. Um, and we learned a lot and we, um, we did gain some, uh, some follows from that. But I would like to ask all of you to like and share and follow um, uh, our social media. So as uh, most of, all of you know, you, you all have social media that, uh, especially if you do it for like in a nonprofit org or something or, or your workplace, we need like a hundred follows and likes in order to get that, uh, that beautiful data that will uh, inform us, it, are we doing, are we reaching the right people? Are we, uh, which, which, how much engagement are we getting? So, um, so we'd like to ask you to give us some help with that. So you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at uh, Aloha at Home. And we'll be sharing this post on our social media. So if you could please share it. And um, we're going to be, it's, it's a contest. So if you like, follow and share the post and make sure you, when you post, you at Aloha at home, uh, that way we know you've posted, um, then you get a chance to win a gift card. Mm -hmm. Mahalo, mahalo, yes. And so our website now is not, I mean, our social media pages are relatively sparse, but I think offering it up to you folks to go like and, and, and follow now really opens us up to the, to the Ohana communities that, that many of you serve. So when we do go live with the posts, if you folks value, find it valuable, it's easy, easier for you folks to share it out. Um, so right now, those are the things that we have going. The messaging will develop as we listen, as we grow more. Do we have it all figured out? Is it perfect? Not by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm a firm believer is if you have the right people and a process that is, that is grounded in humility to learn and listen, that's the best shot that we think um, to get healthy messages out to families. Um, and really, because I'm a social worker, I, I say this all the time, I, and, and, and I think it's effective, is that the moment you start judging people about um, things that, you know, some of the behaviors or the messaging comes across as condescending, you lose them. It's like you lose me at hello. And, you know, and, and so this message is really a, coming from the voice of uh, parents who are actively trying to manage um, the million things like every of the parents that we look to serve and the communities and the caretakers and the kupuna that are rearing kids. And so that's what we've tried to ground this in is real life experience and anchor it in kupuna wisdom and give it a best shot. Uh, I grew up in a community that had a lot of beauty but I also grew up around a lot of normalized violence. And I always, always wondered to myself where that came from. Right. And, and my hope is that the concept of Aloha will resonate with our families um, and that they will see it as as something to try to grow and promote within their home. And I say grow because everybody has it. Right. And, and it's just to acknowledge, to flesh out. And what are the tools and the resources to help do that? So I think, Shelly, any final words? Um, I just wanted to say, um, we really want to utilize our social media because I think that's where our families are at. Like, probably they're not going to Google Aloha at home, right? 
and go on the website, but I think they would engage more, you know, just being on social media, their Instagram, whatever they're on. And then hopefully that leads them to, you know, learning more about how they can practice Aloha at home. But we're really hoping to use um, our Instagram and Facebook to be that, I want to say that forward facing engagement with families. And I think, you know, as providers, we can support one another too. So, our, you know, there may be things we can share with one another on this, on this um, social media, this project, um, but also just have these good messages for our families. So any, any support in that way of, of um, our social media ideas you have of activities, anything like that, feel free to share. Kanoi, I believe your email is down there. Yeah, that's my email. You can hit me up anytime, Kanoi Ali Alliance. It's a lot of vowels, but I'll be there. I'll, I'll, I'll respond. And I see all of you as, as um, Ohana in this work. Ohana committed to a more beautiful um, communities, healthy communities. Um, and so I hope to see you all around at some point, and uh, I'll, I'll be on the lookout. I appreciate you all for taking the time and, and listening. I'll kick it back to Jaden. Mahalo nui kako. Yeah, thank you, Kanoi, Shelly, and Lisa. Mahalo. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm sure um, everyone else appreciates all the knowledge that you guys shared. And I think this website and all the information you provided will be extremely helpful, not only for our personal lives with us with children at home, but also for the families that we serve. So thank you very much. Um, does anyone have any questions for the team before we let you all go for your break, before you join your next session? Feel free to unmute or put in the chat. Kanoi, how will they get the information later on if they want to say like, um, know where our Instagram is or whatever? Will you yeah. be sharing any of that with the group? Yeah, I'm gonna find a way with uh, Jaden to maybe message to the folks that were in this room. As a reminder, email with the email, the follow, I'll, I'll get a list of the folks and or there's my email, you can email me anytime. But yeah, hopefully Jaden, we can do that. Yeah, I can get a list of the folks who are, who are in here and then mm -hmm. I'll shoot them on an email. And then any complaints will go yeah. to Shelly's email. I'll give you her home address. Um, I just want to, um, that's so funny, I crack up laughing over here. Uh, I just want to say because I cannot type that fast, but um, just when it comes to the social media stuff, it would be really awesome if some of the stuff on your folks' website, if whoever does your website and your branding takes a look at just some of those simple serve and return turn concepts, makes them into posts or reels, and then more people will be really, really interested in following because of how it helps them in their own lives. You know, so just someone out for the social thank media. You, Mahalo, folks. This is a great. Well, thank you, Kule. And <laughs> I, I am like a big believer in like, if you get my information and you have thoughts, shoot me those kind of thoughts. Because really, this is about serving you folks. Like, I'm not like, if, like if you don't eat mayonnaise, I'm not gonna put mayonnaise on your sandwich, right? <laughs> like, so what would resonate with you folks? What, what, what do you think your your, your community is about? And Lisa's already said. We need to do some videos because that's what we some of the data we saw people click more. And so um, thank, thank goodness for iPhones because we're going Gorilla, Gorilla Wall style budget production. Yeah. yeah. So. And I want to say, um, Kule, I, I, I sat in on your presentation and you have a beautiful voice and music and culture. And I'm wondering to add no, no pressure, but, you know, maybe in the future having some collaboration with us. Of or, course. Or of else. course. I would love that. Awesome. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, okay, of mahalo, course. Mahalo. Mahalo. Okay. I appreciate all of you. Hey, Denise, how's it? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>